Hi, welcome to Solid Justice 7 video tutorial. I want to do the simple rim which I did before in the other programs. Let's start with a sketch on that plane, the front plane, and this might look like close it. Now give it some dimensions. Just set all dimensions and afterwards make the correct ones. So this should be three, this should be five, twenty, sixty four. 20, 78, 20, 20, 20, 20. This should be 2, 4, 5, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 0, Two, three, two, two, four, five, and okay. Now I want to make a revolve with the sketch. And I want to use this axis as rotation axis, and I want to have it 360 degrees. And finish. Now let's make a thin wall. Let's say it's 5 millimeters to the inside. And I want to remove this and that one and accept it and preview and confirm it. Okay, so I now want to sort of reuse this sketch that's possible by tear off. So I go to tear off and I want to have a new sketch on this plane and I want to use this sketch. Maybe I should hide the other elements. Okay, now let's edit this one. And I need a line which starts maybe here and goes around 50 or 55 in that direction. Okay. Then I need two splines, one which starts right here, goes maybe like this and 
and you could adjust it by these control points so this should go horizontal from the middle like this and just adjust it with these control points a little bit yeah maybe like this then another one which starts here goes up and to that point and again change it with the control points maybe like this then I have to remove this one that small one and I don't need these and I will change this to construction line and put over one more line on here so let's close this sketch and now I want to make a revolve with this sketch but in a new body so I go to add body you could give it a name go to revolve and I want to revolve that profile around this axis and to have it 360 degrees I just make it like that and confirm so now I got two bodies see and I could hide both sketches right now and I could also hide both bodies. Now I need another sketch on that plane. That should be a circle. And diameter should be and 50 and another one and this might be 260 and I need two lines one another one and there should be an angle of 22.5 degrees then I might already trim okay and then I need two splines one which starts here and goes maybe like this
just adjust it the way you want it and maybe one more here and adjust it accordingly Then trim it. Yes. Close the sketch and show the second body. Now I want to make a cut with this sketch. Accept it. And it should go in that direction through all. And confirm it. So I might change the sketch for the profile a little bit. I want to make sure that this goes sort of perpendicular to that line. So I might just draw a line from here in that direction small one and give it perpendicularity and now make these two tangent then I could remove this one okay now let's close the sketch and I want to mirror, maybe I hide this sketch, that cut out. So I go for mirror. I want to mirror that cut out, smart, with that plane and finish. Next step. I want to have a circular pattern with these two features. So I select Cutout and the Mirror 2 and go to Pattern and the sketch should be on the top plane, yes. And I want to have a full circle with eight instances center point should be this and this might be in that direction and close the sketch and this looks okay now let's make some rounds with maybe three to four millimeters that's tangent and this should be tangent as well, yes. Just select all the edges. And accept it and preview and finish it. Let's 
show the other body. I might need some rounds on that body as well, so I could hide this one and make some rounds here. Make it, let's have four millimeters, that's okay. And it should be, yeah, it's not active, so double click on it and then make it active. Okay, so on this edge, that edge, that edge, this one, this one, that one, maybe this one, and that one, accept it, preview it, finish it. Now I could combine those two bodies. make a union. So I want to make a union between this design body and that design body. Accept it and confirm it. Now let's add some holes. So I want to have a hole on that face right here in the middle and it should be not a standard, it should be millimeters and it should be maybe let's say 70 Okay, and close the sketch, make it through all in that direction and finish it. Okay, some more holes again on that face, but right now it should be maybe, yeah, let's move it up here. And 10 is okay, millimeter, 10 millimeter is okay. And close the sketch, make it through all, make it in that direction and finish. Finally make a pattern with this hole, make a pattern on that plane, it should be a circular one, yes, from here up to that one in that direction and there should be only five. And close the sketch and finish and I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this video as well. See you to the next project. Bye bye.